Hey, how are you? Good. So, uh, what were your thoughts seeing uh, Lucas on the stadium when he came in? Man, we brought back memories. Uh, <laughs> being there last year, uh, just thinking about being there with my guys, really. Um, but seeing that, you know, me being at the combine now, you know, really meant business. Uh, I, f I can say it's a dream come true for me to be here, especially on my birthday yesterday. So, um, I just thank God for that. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Kenny, I'm sure you saw the video of the Jordan Locker room after Nolan ran his 40. What oh, yeah. does that say about the locker room and the camaraderie that you guys have? It's a brotherhood, man. We, 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 see, we want to see each other succeed exactly um, whatever we do. Um, but to see that locker room jump up like that, it was no surprise to me. But, you know, it's just I miss my brothers back there at home. I know they watch it. Um, you know, shout out to Georgia Bull. Uh, Expect them to get that same reaction when you run? Uh, yeah, they on spring break. They're going to be on spring break. So they ain't going to be in the locker room. But sure they're going to be at the house, you know, you know, watching and stuff like that. So, what, what kind of goals do you have for yourself in the 40? For the 40, mm -hmm. uh, pretty much I want to run the low foot, I mean half foot three, low foot four. So you're basically you're looking to do what Noah Smith did? Pretty much. Noah Smith had a great day out there, man. So yeah, I got to match his energy. Kenny, one of your uh, key qualities is your pass protection. How much pride do you take in that? A lot of pride of him. At Georgia, if you can't pass protect, you, you, you can't be on the field. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I consider myself a three down back. Um, and that comes along with it. So pass protection, running the ball, being able to catch the ball. Um, and that's what that's what it's gonna take to be at the next level. So and I definitely can do that out. Kenny, which one of those would you say is your best ball? Uh definitely catching the ball. I can definitely do that at a high level. But definitely not scared to put my nose and stick my nose in there when the uh, linebacker blitz or anything like that. Um, I can't hear you say that again. You think catching the ball is also your most underrated? Skill. That's a good My underrated skill? Nah, definitely. They know I can catch the ball. I ain't drop a ball at Georgia, so thank God. But they know I can catch the ball. That's not underrated. Who have you met with? Who have I met with? Yeah. A lot of coaches. Um, a lot of teams. I mean, Denver, Miami, um, Jacksonville, Cowboys, pretty much every team. Have you you talk about New Orleans Saints? Say that have again. you met with the New Orleans Saints? Yeah, I met with them too. You talk about that pass catching ability. Who do you see stepping into that role next year at Georgia? And, and what do you think of the running back room that's left behind? Like I said, it's a, we got a, every year we're going to have a, a loaded backfield. Um, Dejan can definitely catch the ball. Kendall can definitely catch the ball. I believe uh, Brinson can definitely catch the ball. Um, you, know, they, you know, they continue to work on their skills and little things like that and be even better. But um, they, all the guys can do it all at Georgia. So. You talk, about Georgia. A, you talk about a loaded backfield. Any thought, four-star recruit, didn't get a lot of production your first three years. Any thought about transferring out? Nah, I never. Didn't want to transfer. I knew what I came in for. I knew what I signed up for. I knew my time was coming. I knew my opportunity was going to come. I, you know, I was, throughout those years, developing my skill set to get, you know, for my, when my opportunity was named, what call, what presented itself, I knew I had to be ready for it. And pretty much took those years to, you know, develop my skill set, being around those great backs. So have you met with the Washington formally? Uh, no, not since I've been here. Have you met with the Buccaneers formally or informally this week? I met with Buccaneers too. Is that formal or informal? How'd that go? Uh, yeah, I think it was informal. I Hey, Ken, yesterday uh, Zay Flowers was here talking about how you guys grew up as best friends. Uh, what's yeah. it like to be in the same draft class as him? Say that again? What's it like to be in the same draft class as him, Zay? It is everything, man. That's what we you know, we dreamed of since Little League. Um, he was the X man. I was the blueprint. Um, you know, we've been, we had stayed together since high school. We've been together since high school. For us to separate in college, we knew we had to go do our thing in college. And um, for us to be here now at the same time, same year, it's everything. It's God. And, um, I'm proud of my boy. Shout out to Zay Flowers. Um, what, what he did with his body was one of the big storylines coming in. What do you think of seeing that? The way he kind of transformed himself going into the combat. Well, all, all he do is work. You know, what I'm saying that's not no surprise to me. Um, all he do is go at home and just work and train and stuff like that. Uh, you know, he he has a big family. For him to be the one that you know to come out and make it like this, um, you can tell he put in years of work. Um, he's dedicated to this game. He loves his game. He's passionate. Um, like I said, shout out to my boy Zay Flowers. Kenny, what was uh, having NIL around? Uh, you know, for your junior senior year how did you come out with that like how, how what was that opportunity like uh, it was a blessing um definitely got a couple in, in, uh, nil deals um i can't complain about none of that it's really cool at Georgia, they prepare us um, every aspect of the game, um, on and off the field. 
they develop us to, uh, you know, become men first. Um, but definitely Georgia, I say Kirby, the staff got the sauce, so that's how I'm going to say the, you know, the, the key to the, preparing for the next level. Um, whether it's special teams, whether it's offense, defense, whatever it is that you want to do, they definitely going to develop us to, you know, be ready for the next level. Well, you, how much did you learn uh, about Kenda when you did the, the NIL show uh, with us that Junior you did? Did you guys learn a lot about each other doing definitely. that, Charlie? I, mean, how you, you I knew him before then, but I definitely learned a lot about him. Like, we well, said put uh, blue cheese on his steak. I ain't never heard that before, so um, I learned you know, a lot, a lot about him then. Did you ever try it? <laughs> what, what do you think uh, Todd Munkin to Mike Bobo as offensive coordinator will mean for this Georgia offense? Say that again. The tra- the tra- change the of coordinators. Uh, they definitely work together as a, um, you know, as a whole. They definitely work together. So I believe it's nothing going to change, really. Um, Mike Bobo is a great coach. Um, he was a good quarterback when he was at Georgia, too, as well. So um, he definitely going to have a real control of the offense. I think he's going to be able to you know, develop those guys and scheme out things the way he wanted. Uh, learn from Munkin or being another Munkin. Um, definitely going to be able to take some of that to, to his game. So, can you, can you think you think you operate on say that again? How do you think you left your mark on Georgia's winning back you know, I definitely thought I left a, you know, a great mark uh, for me to come in and, like you said, I had to wait my turn. And for me to wait my turn and be patient and leave Georgia with two national tra- national championships, I def- definitely left a great mark. Um, broke a few records when I was there. So, um, big shout out to Georgia, man. Thank you. you mentioned meeting with the Dolphins. Uh, what were your impressions of them? Who'd you speak to uh, from them? Definitely impressed the Dolphins, man. Um, just speaking of the home team is a blessing um, for me to, you know, me be in consideration of, you know, with the Dolphins and stuff like that. Uh, I look at it as a blessing. Um, my brother's on the team as well, so for me to be able to be able to link up and play with each other, that'll be, you know, God's number God and all. I can't remember who I talked to. A lot of coaches here. And your high school was on the same campus as their old facility. Do you, do you have memories of that? Or? Oh, definitely, the, definitely. I remember practicing um, in the, the bubble. It's not there no more, actually, unfortunately. But um, I remember practicing in the bubble, being in, the, uh, being in there, having, uh, I think it was a scrimmage or something like that, definitely in there a few times. So. What did RJ tell you about the combine, and, and how do you think it helped you to have a brother in the NFL throughout your career? You know, he asked me questions that I was going to be asking him in like, interviews and stuff like that. He, he knew what it took. He knew what the interviews was like. Um, you know, we sat down and had the conversations, uh, drawing up defense and stuff like that. Just, just to have somebody that already been here, not like a, a friend, but a brother that really cares for you and that um, you know, you know want to see you succeed too as well. Uh, you know, he definitely you know helped me a lot, preparing me to come here too. What would a collision look like between you and him in the NFL? I told him he wouldn't like that, man. You know, it would be a bad day for him. You know, what I'm saying he might be. You know, six five, two thirty, three hundred, something like that. But I'm gonna make it bad for him. Man, I like that. Kenny, with the likes of, of Todd Gurley, Nick Chubb, you know, all these guys, DeAndre Swift, what would it mean for you to be that next guy making your mark in the NFL as a former dog? Just the RBU um, for me to meet that much mark, uh, be the next great bat to come out to, to show my skill set. This is um, what it took at be a Georgia Bulldog I'm running back. So. Um, it'll mean everything just to see those, to seeing those guys go to the next level and succeed. Um, you know, I know that I'm definitely prepared for it. And the Falcons operate on a really high efficiency run game. Uh, as a running back, is there anything about that offense that you've noticed that intrigues you at all? Say that again? The Falcons operate up a high efficiency run game. As a running back, do you see anything from that offense that intrigues you? Well, they use their running back. I like how they use their running back. They use my side. Definitely not allow him to catch the ball out of the backfield, too. I was um, fortunate enough to have OC um, at the, the senior bowl, so he was my uh, my officer coordinator at the senior bowl as well. So just to see how he was able to use the running backs in the past game too, uh, definitely changed a lot. Along with Georgia, so definitely. Kenny, what did you learn from James Cook during his time at Georgia? Did you guys overlap? That's my that's my boy there, but he can always talk uh, about anything. It could be life. Uh, football wise, anything, but me and him been had a relationship since going to uh, Georgia. Um, you know, me and him, when I was in consideration of what school I wanted to go to, me and him talked about, you know, coming to Georgia. He highly recommended me to come to Georgia, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just because of, you know, how they develop backs, um, how they prepare us for the next level and things like that. He's seen it first, so he definitely wanted me to, you know, come join him. And I, you know, felt the connection with Kirby, me and Kirby and the staff there, so he definitely, you know, had a a partner for me to come to the team. How, how much have you talked? 
it's amazing, man, to see my boy go from uh, college to the next level, do what he's doing. Um, I actually talked with the Bills, too. They, 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 they are impressed with him, too. He definitely picked it up at the end of the year. So to see him go out there and do what he knew, I know he's capable of doing, uh, it's a no-brainer for me. Um, you know, I'm just happy to see my boy go out there and succeed. Being from South Florida, like him, uh, how did South Florida uh, prepare you just at competition level growing like up? Like you said, the competition down there is fast. Definitely uh, guys down there ready to compete um, each and every game in high school. Guys want to, um, you know, showcase their talent and go out there and compete. And that's all. That's what we love, to com compete. And that's another part of uh, why I want to go to Georgia, to compete those another great group of guys at running back. So. Kenny, can you take us back to Missouri? It's fourth and two. You guys are down ten when you heard your number called. What went through your mind, and do you remember that play? Uh, definitely I remember that play. Um, we had to get the momentum started. Um, it was down, um, and I just knew that offense needed the momentum to you know pick up because I knew he wasn't going out there just doing what we were capable of doing. Um, we had a slow start. Um, when that play was called, I knew I was getting that ball then too. Um, and I knew I had to make a statement in that place, so definitely ran through somebody that got the movement started. Um, and then ever since then, the offense started clicking. The o -line, I mean, the o line definitely get to the next level. Quarterback, throwing a dive, be able to run the ball. So ever since then. Kenny Nolan and, and Kyrus have kind of given some recruiting pitches. Nolan and, Nolan and Kyrus, yeah, kind of given some recruiting pitches for Georgia since they've been here. What's your recruiting pitch sound like to the next generation running backs following your footsteps in Georgia? Definitely be patient. I say that uh, coming to Georgia, uh, you have to be patient, um, be willing to you know work, develop your skill set. Because um, Georgia are always going to be loaded with uh, talent. They always going to have talent, um, but mentally tough. Um, everybody's going to be phys physically tough at Georgia. But it's the mental part that um, Kirby wants to you know attack. Uh, even the, the coaching staff they want us to see how mental tough you are. Um, that no matter what we doing the drills, anything like that, where we sitting in the um, meeting room. Um, for hours, to yeah, um, you know, see how missing it's up, how focused it's going to be. So, speaking of that, tough, sorry, my bad. Go ahead. Uh, speaking of, of that patience that you just talked about, uh, in in an era where the transfer portal is really hot and it's it's a player friendly system, what was your mindset to know like I'm just going to sit here and wait my turn behind guys like James and Zamir and not transfer out, but know like I want to be here and it'll be it'll be my turn. Soon. Like I said, my mindset coming into college, I knew that I, I wanted to be a Georgia Bulldog. I didn't want to have to go through no, no transfer portal. But... Anybody can do that, like you said. If I wanted to do it the hard way, stay there with my turn. Like I said, I know my turn was coming, so I just knew I had to be prepared for it. So, um, those years that I, that was, I wasn't the, the, the main guy, I was still out there producing what I had to do. Every time I got the ball, I was out there making plays. Every, my name was noticed, but I, and I wasn't the main guy. So even that was special teams, or even when I did get a chance to get the ball, to run the ball, to catch the ball, anything like that, I knew I had to go out there and execute. Warren, can, can you Warren was comparing the 21 and 22 championship teams. He said the 21 team had more talent, the 22 team had more fight. What do you think about that assessment? And, um, you know, who do you think would win a matchup between those two teams? I, I definitely, I'm going to go with, that's a tough question. I like to because I'm going to go with 2022. That team, that team there was special. Um, the defense was crazy. I'm like, I'm about to say, uh, but yeah, they, we had a lot of fight. Um, I, I agree with that. We had a lot of fight, even though the guys were young. We lost a lot of guys, 15 guys then, but we was um, definitely had a lot of fight in us. Um, we had composure, resiliency, all the key factors that Georgia we definitely showed. Um, that the, uh, the last team wasn't, you know, able to show. They were never that good, I would say. But just for us to come back and fight and never give up and stuff like that, so I'm gonna definitely go with the twenty-six. Kenny, we've seen a lot of uh, Carson Beck coming in behind Stetson. What about Vandergriff? What does he bring to the team? Say that again. Vandergriff, Vandergriff, Vandergriff is definitely a smart guy. Um, he's definitely a good quarterback. Um, seeing him get into um, the work in the practice that he didn't do it. Um, he showcases his time every day in practice. He comes ready and prepared. Um, he prepares well. Um, I guess he definitely learned a lot from Stetson. I would say that um, Stetson always been that, that, that big brother to, in the room. I can tell you that. Um, brothers Carson or Vanderbilt. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see see who, who wins the job. Just one more. You talked about you talked about games. Can you talk about Zamir a little bit? Maybe the type of leader he is. What he's taught you. Definitely leader. Um, Zamir is a, a great guy. Comes from North Carolina. He's a, a hard worker. He's definitely going to go out there work each and every day hard, give his 110%. Um, he was definitely, you know, a bull in those, you know what I'm saying? He's definitely going to run that ball hard. He's able to catch the ball too as well, but just to be under those great backs, um, just to see how, how hard they work on and off the field, you know, I kind of took that along with my game. Well, Kenny, Kenny, what was your best game? Thanks, Come on. Thank you.